Learners were investigating the effect of temperature on ice over a period of time. The graph below was drawn from the results. Okay, so obviously I've explained this to you guys before. If you haven't watched that lesson where we talk about these temperature curves, it's very important that you watch that. I will do my best to try add a few little summaries in this one, but obviously I explain it in detail in those lessons. So what we have here in this graph, we can see that the temperature is going up. Okay, so we, we're starting here and then we're ending up over here. So we can see that the temperature is increasing. So we are going to be taking a block of ice and we are going to be turning it into liquid and then turning it into water vapor. And this graph helps us to understand the process and all the different things that are going to take place from the block of ice all the way to the um, vapor or the, the gas. Okay, so it says def the first question, define the term molting. Well, we know that molting is when you go from a solid to a liquid. So we can say that it's the temperature because they said the molting point. It's the temperature at which a solid becomes a liquid. This one, in which phase is the substance at, oh, at, in which phase is the substance at in point one? So point one is over here. So is it in the solid, liquid, or gas? Well, if you've watched the videos where I explain these curves, you would understand that right here at this very low temperature, at this phase over here, we are in the solid, okay? Then this phase over here, we are in the liquid. And then in this phase over here, we are in the gas. This area over here is where we are going from solid to liquid. So that is where we are busy switching over. And then this area over here is where we are going from liquid to gas. So in which phase are we on in point one? We are in the solid phase. Okay, now it says name the process at point four. So at point four, we are going from a liquid to a gas. Think about if you put water in your kettle at home and you turn it into, you start boiling it, it turns into a gas. That's why you see the steam coming out the top of the, the kettle. That is called um, boiling. Okay, now obviously I could go into way more detail, but I've made a full on video about this already. So you just go find that and then this will make sense, okay? Um, now this question says, on point two on the graph, so point two is this one over here where we are busy switching from a solid to a liquid, there is no change in temperature. Explain this observation. Ah, so this is the really interesting stuff in that um, this area here, we can notice that the temperature is not changing. Can you see that? When you are changing from solid to liquid, temperature doesn't change. And also when you go from liquid to gas, temperature doesn't change. And that's what we're gonna go talk about now. So let's quickly talk about this little area over here. Um, this little portion here from A to B. So from A to B, we are in the solid phase. And so that would be like a block of ice. Okay, and what we must understand is that that block of ice has a whole bunch of water molecules. So let's just draw them like this. Okay, a whole bunch of water molecules. And those water molecules, um, or what's gonna happen is that as you start adding in heat, so let's draw like a fire. Okay, there's a fire. That's gonna start adding heat into that ice block. The ice block, well, what happens is that the individual molecules, as you start adding in heat energy, they're gonna start vibrating a little bit faster. Because they're in the solid phase, they're not moving around, they're not moving like from here to here, but what they are gonna start doing is they're gonna start vibrating. And they're gonna vibrate faster and faster and faster, and the temperature is gonna begin to rise, okay? Now, as you get to point B, where we've reached for water, which is at zero degrees Celsius, what's gonna start happening now is the intermolecular forces, which are the forces that are in between the molecules, they are the forces that are holding the molecules together. They are called intermolecular, intermolecular, 
okay? What, what starts to happen now when we get to zero degrees is the energy is gonna start, you can think of it as um, almost like breaking those and it's gonna start pulling the, it's gonna start pulling these molecules further away from each other, okay? In the part from A to B, that wasn't really happening. That wasn't happening. So all that was happening was the energy from the fire was just causing the molecules to vibrate faster and faster and faster. So because they were going faster and faster and faster, the temperature was increasing because that is what temperature is. Temperature is a measure of the kinetic energy of the molecules. So they were just going faster and faster. But now when we get to this area over here, what now happens is that this energy that is now coming in is no longer going to be used to make the molecules go faster. What that energy is now going to be used for is to start overcoming these forces of attraction between the molecules. And it's gonna start pulling the molecules apart. So even though more energy is coming in from the external, we're adding in more energy, the molecules are not going to be moving faster and faster and faster in this process over here. The, the energy that is coming in from the outside is used to now move the molecules away from each other and start turning them into a liquid. So we are gonna notice on the graph that the temperature of the molecules is not gonna go up because they're not gonna start moving faster and faster and faster. So we're not gonna see it increasing like we do over here and over here. Instead, that energy that is coming in from the outside is gonna be used to overcome these forces and so the temperature remains constant while we are converting from a solid to a liquid. So what we can say, because remember guys, this temperature is not the temperature of the fire or the external heat. This temperature is a measure of the kinetic energy of the molecules. Remember that is what temperature actually is. It's a measure of kinetic energy. So in this period over here, from here to here, the molecules are not gonna begin to move faster and faster. They're gonna stay at the same, the, the same kinetic energy that they were at, but they're gonna, they're gonna now start moving away from each other. And so this energy is now being used to separate them. But that energy is not now making them move faster and faster and faster, um, like we saw in the earlier part over there. Okay, so the temperature remains constant. So why is this happening? We can say that the, we can just say that, um, the substance is changing from a solid to a liquid. We can say kinetic energy, which is the kinetic energy of the molecules, um, remains constant. And there we go, that's all we have to say. So because the kinetic energy is constant, the temperature remains constant. So let's just say, um, therefore, temperature remains constant. If this one was worth more than two marks and it was like a five mark question, well then obviously you would have to go into more detail, okay? But I have explained this in one of my, prev in my previous lessons, um, but I have also explained it here exactly what's happening and that this energy is being used to overcome those forces of attraction. This one says, write down the molecular formula of ice. Well, ice is just water, so you're just gonna say H2O.